any of you wondering why I didn't, haven't mentioned the, um, the recent massacre, you know, in the synagogue in Pittsburgh? Um, I did mention it, you just didn't get the video because I went to sleep talking about it and then that's a video I don't upload, I play and while I'm sitting there, I just didn't do that yet. Um, any of you who uh, genuinely care about me, at least, you know, in the, even just a tiny bit, in the tiniest manner, okay, um, then you have to understand, or if you've been following my videos for a while, you must know by now, I'm not the strongest person. I'm strong in that I don't um, just completely, you know, I don't just completely, no matter what this wor life throws my way, I don't break down completely. I don't just lose my mind completely, okay? But um, I'm not strong. When it, when it comes to, um, I'm not strong in that everything that is happening in this world, every last little thing, affects me. So, every little thing that happens, you know, chips away at me. Um, you know, I mean, every little bad thing. So on the one hand, I've proven how strong I am because I'm still standing, you know, I'm still here, I haven't just, on the other hand, this world is a cesspool, it's getting worse by the hour. And I, uh, as is the case with more people than we can probably imagine, you know, it's seriously affecting me. I don't know what more I can say, you know. Life's not even remotely all that great, as we already know, but the personal shit is compounded by all the fucking undeniably horrible shit in the world at large. I mentioned the massacre. I just didn't mention it in an. I mentioned it in a video where I was going to sleep talking about it. And uh, I told you what I'll just tell you now. What I told my mom. I said, imagine if you're just, you know, you think of where you go. I don't go to church. You guys know that, but it's a place where you feel safe. You know what I mean? And I said that to my mom. I'm like, imagine if you're in charge, feeling safe, and suddenly a, a, a madman comes in and just starts shooting. That's what I told her. Look what happened in that black church. I guess where even more people were killed. Were they? Oh, maybe they were just injured. I don't know. That happened, but a couple, of, four, 
three, four years, a few years ago, a couple of years ago. My time goes by so fast. What the heck was the guy's name? I don't remember. All I know is that they welcomed him and he sat there for like an hour or something causing them to trust him and they welcomed him open arms into their church and then he just proceeded an hour into the service to blow them all away. This was different. This guy just came in shooting. And he hates, says he hates Jews, and he, he just, so just, sense, you know what I mean? He, so, he, he, he kills 11 human beings. They're seeking the death penalty for him. I mean, what was the point? There is no point. But there never is, you know what I mean? There's never any point. It's just hate, the likes of which most of us can't fathom. okay? Yeah, I was happy I found a thing of pineapple. I thought I had none left. Now I don't have any left. Let's see. Yeah, of course I mentioned. I just didn't. I had already mentioned it, it, it just wasn't in a video that I had yet shared with you guys, that's all. There's no way I didn't mention that. No, no, there really is no more pineapple. <gasps> Cost. Pumpkin for me and Omar is but not pineapple. It is something that when she, my friend who's gone, I think she's gone. So it happens, right? I see a different car in the driveway, so I think she's sold her house and she's gone and she probably never gave a shit about me in the first place. Just means gotta put the armor up even more, you know. So that's what happens when I have the armor down. want to think that people care, you know, for example, this woman, when you believe somebody cares about you, you believe you can ask them for favors once in a while and they'll never resent you, in fact, it'll make them feel good to help you out, you know, question it, you know, if you're me and you question it, then you think to yourself, well, you know, if you second guess, or you question it, or why not, you, you, you chastise yourself and you're like, you know, don't sell yourself short. This person does care about you, Laura. They're not resenting you secretly, yet 
doing you favors and secretly resenting you that you know or you and your mom they're not doing that don't even think that way Laura and then lo and behold I get proof that I was justified in thinking exactly that way you know often been told out here no one cares why are you even saying that no one gives a shit yeah I know that I know that I don't think that I don't okay you strangers feeling that way versus somebody who's in my life is a different matter entirely you get it And she was my mom's age or even older so that reassured me as well she understands she cares she cares Laura she's not resenting you especially when majority of the favors you ask of her have nothing to do with you they they have to do with helping your mother you no know? Yet again, Miss P gets kicked in the fucking ass. And the armor goes up more and more and more until she's nothing but armor in the end. Justifiably, understandably, nothing but armor. here and there over these past about 10 years there have been people there was one woman or actually I think it was a girl a young girl teenage girl who knows talking about how her mother's schizophrenic or this or that you know what I mean and there was another one many years ago in LA California who said to me wrote to me you know very little affects me but you did and I posted I, I, I linked your video on my Facebook page that's what she told me she wasn't one of those who became my friend I never heard from her again but she did take the time to write that to me and she goes you know very little gets to me your video got to me you know, that's all she said and like I said I never heard from her again um, but she told me that you know, I shared my video on it. Your video, I shared your video, Laura, or who knows if she even knew my real name. But I shared your video out of my Facebook page. You touched me. Very, very few people do. You know. Again, not somebody trying to get in my pants. Not somebody who even was trying to be my friend. I never. I think I actually. I think I never heard from her again. You know, after she told me that one thing. the handful of men here and there who have wanted to get in my pants who knew me via YouTube you know over these years virtually none of them none of them even remotely live anywhere near me you know so they're just figuratively trying to get in my pants it's kind of funny actually <laughs> Pineapple juice.
which I want, so I'm settling for the cherry juice. Cherry juice that ruined my relationship with my beloved to me by the comments. <laughs> oh god, what a joke. Formerly beloved to me by the cost. Whose praises I sang. Mostly. Now I just add it to the list, you know. To swallow my pride. Have to, uh order from them eventually if it comes down, you know. But I won't be happy about it. I was out in the parking lot and today or tonight I always look down. I pick up pennies, I pick up change, I pick up whatever. Here and there over the years, maybe a couple, three times or whatever, you know, found actual money, like a $20 bill or something. So, yesterday, last night, and I even shared my little story with this mom who was, or probably a mom, who's loading her groceries and her kids into the car because I just wanted to share my story. Um, I found an unopened thing of mascara that someone maybe had dropped. But the woman who was loading her kids and her groceries into the car, she totally agreed with me because I'm like, there's no way someone's going to come back for this. It's dark out. I'm not going to turn it into the this store or whatever. They're not. It's been outside on the ground. It's not like they're going to put it back on their shelf. It was unopened, but it wasn't, you know. And um, they wouldn't do it anyway. She's like, oh, she's like, oh yeah. She's like, you're right. She's like, it. She even said it'll probably, it would probably get run over. No one's going to come back for it. They're not even going to know until they get home that it's missing, and they're not going to know where they dropped it, you know. So. It's mine. Again, it was completely unopened. It's mascara, and, you know, I found it because I looked down. It was so unlikely that somebody would come back for it that the woman agreed with me. She's like, no. She's like, it'll get, it'll become trash. It'll get run over. I, I, I said it, she said it before she agreed, or she said it first before it would ever, someone would come back for it. And she's, and then she's like, they, she doesn't even know. She's like, they won't even know where they dropped it. They're not even going to know. Yet they're not going to know it dropped all the way until they get home. They're not going to come back for it. So I don't have to feel guilty, you know, any more than if I found a $20 bill, I go running in, into there to, to, you know, no. Something like that. If I don't get it, someone else would, or it would get run over by somebody, or it would get taken by somebody. It would just turn into trash, you know? So. You might be thinking, you have to reassure yourself of something that ridiculous? Yes, I do. That's how messed up I am. It's not like I'm thrilled that I found it in the first place. But I'm going to keep it, and I'm not going to feel bad about keeping it. Because, again, dark, towards the end of, it wasn't even like right in the, not that that would matter, but it wasn't even like right when you're going into the store. It was, it was dropped probably wherever these people parked, but they're not going to know. And you damn well know they're not going to try to go back. I just know. The woman agreed. She's like, no one's going to come back to get that. It's going to wind up trash. I'm like, I know. I just want to share my story. Thanks for listening. (laughs) 
if anyone says, oh, it's your lucky day. No, if I'd found a $20 bill, it would be my lucky day. Finding an unopened thing of mascara, not my lucky day, but, you know, I'm keeping it nonetheless. Was it me? It'd be someone else. I'm not going to run into the store and turn it in. That would, that's ridiculous, you know. It's just ridiculous. It's too bad for the people who lost it, but... Who knows who lost it or how. Again, it's only because it was completely unopened. It was obviously purchased in the store, but it could have been sitting there all day long in the parking lot. You know what I mean? That doesn't matter either because it's not pot out. <laughs> I was on the bus and I killed a mosquito and then I called my mom like mom I'm just warning you of course she's like well I'll go close them I'm like I'm not telling you to close them well, I wouldn't do it she's there's no screens in the fucking windows she has the windows open because as we've already established it's boiling hot in there with the windows wide open I looked at the heat today and it was just under 80 degrees with the windows wide open okay when I told her about the mosquito mom I'm just telling you I thought mosquitoes are over with. I killed one on the bus, so, you know, and she goes, I'll go close my windows, and then you'll swelter. But I saw that. I'm like, why aren't there, just add it to the list, why aren't there screens in the fucking windows? Only one had a friggin' air conditioning in it. Why aren't there screens? She has to open the windows, and there's no screens. So bugs can come in, and I thought the bugs were over with, but I killed a mosquito on the bus, so apparently the bugs are not quite over with. I'm not telling you that to tell you what to do, Mom. I'm just warning you that you could have mosquitoes come in your house in the wide open windows. It shouldn't be like that anyway, because there should be fucking screens on the windows. But your oh-so-nice landlord, who's definitely undeniably kind to you in a lot of ways, is still a slumlord in other important ways, okay? I did a laundry today, and I ran out of time, and I did what I vowed to never do again, but I was very careful and better me do it than my mom, okay? It, it was just big stuff. And you, if you, you, you can have a, a system to it. If you don't try to grab anything and you just hold your hand out, the, the clothes reach your hand. They, they, they spin round and round and they, they apart, puts in your hand and you go, back like that, and you grab it. And you go, back, back. <laughs> and um, it, last time when I almost hurt myself, it was smaller stuff. There were socks, whatever. This time, there's, it was just jeans and shirts, big, big shirts and jeans. And I realized if you just, if you let it come to you instead of you try to come to it, if I just held my hand like that and without, get, you know, it, the, the clothes would touch it and as soon as I felt something, I grabbed it. And that's how we did it until I got it out. So I ran out of time. I ran out of time. And I'd actually accidentally put the stuff on, not... It's on extra high heat, but it's on high heat. And um, I didn't mean to do that. But then they were already dry and hadn't stopped. We know they stop eventually, but they were already dry, you know? If we didn't have to deal with this shit, if the landlord had a normal dryer that shut off like it's supposed to, when you open the fucking door, we could have, you know? But I, I said to my mom, I hope this stuff didn't shrink, but... I know that he used to do your clothes and he wasn't doing them on medium. He was doing them on high. Not extra high, but on high. So I'm sure they didn't shrink. And if they did, just buy more. You know? What are you going to do? I meant to do them on medium. And then I'm like, they, they were all dry. And then I remember the last time that he needed more money to, to put those. It was the same thing where I split up the loads. I didn't, it wasn't that big of a load that last time either, but, and he's, he had cleared.
claimed that her jeans weren't quite dry. Again, you got another two bucks out of her, and I was pissed. Um, because we didn't say, can you go get the clothes, and if they're not dry enough, go and ask my mom. But your dollars, you said, can you go get the clothes? She could have just finished drying them in her apartment. They had to have been dry enough, you know. But today they were totally dry, and they hadn't stopped. But they weren't going to stop in time for me to catch the bus, so. I knew I wouldn't hurt myself. You hurt yourself if you're trying to grab something that's stuck to the thing that's spinning, then you can hurt yourself. If I hold my hand like this, and the clothes are spinning around and around, I'm, my, it's not, nothing's hurting my hand, and then the minute fabric touches my hand, I grab it and pull it out quickly. And it was only like two pairs of jeans and like five tops or something, and it was fine. That doesn't mean I want my mom doing it. They, I have reflexes, much better reflexes than she does. That's why the first time she tried to do it, she hurt herself almost. She actually did hurt herself, just not badly. No. Me, I did it okay. It pissed me off, but everything pisses me off. It pissed me off when I saw her windows in her bedroom wide open with no screens. That pissed me off too. So of course when I killed a mosquito on the bus when I thought mosquitoes are gone, um, I had to go and call her and warn her. And her be and her, well I'll go close the windows. Mom, I'm not telling you to close the windows and windows and swelter in that place. I'm just warning you that you might get mosquitoes in your apartment. Okay? It's all I thought they were gone, I th and then they're not, so I thought I would warn you. I wouldn't have my windows wide open with, without the screen, but that's just me. And it's, it's not because of bugs that I thought were gone. It's because I, I'd be afraid, you know. Anyway, just wanted to tell you that. former friend who I foolishly <laughs> thought cared about me, but no. And again, I mean, she's not caring about me like we're best buddies. First of all, she's way She's my mom's age or older, you know. She, it's not like I viewed her as like my best buddy. We're going to go out and party or something. But just like with Godson Woman, I, I, I'm a dumbass. That's all. Stupid fool. Dumbass, stupid fool, right, my love? I, 
you know, it, it had a special thing on that MasterCard.